If you want to become a web developer or if you just want to build something cool, chances are you're probably going to need a server. Understanding the client side and the server side is crucial if you're going to be building these full stack applications and you're probably going to need it if you actually want to gain employment and work as a web developer. So in the next five minutes, I'm going to show you how we can set up a React application and we're also going to set up a Node.js backend server. We're also going to set up a couple API routes. That way we can make some requests and pass some data back and forth from our client to our server. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, first let's go ahead and create our folder structure. We'll go and type make dir and we'll say client then also server. And let's create our React application first. So I'm going to change directory into client and I'll type npm create Vite at latest, and we'll go ahead and install it in their current client directory. I'm going to choose React. We do in JavaScript with a speedy web compiler. We'll say npm i, and let's go ahead and start our server because why not? We'll say npm run dev, and this should be running on localhost 5173. And there you have it. There's our React application. So next, let's start with our server file. I'm going to go ahead and open up another window here. I'll change directory to the, we want to go to the server folder. Now type npm init dash y. And what that's going to do is going to create our package.json file inside of our server folder here. Next, let's go ahead and add a start script. So we'll just say start. Inside here, we'll just say node index.js. But we don't have index.js file. So let's go ahead and create that. We'll take touch index.js. And we should see our index file here. Now let's go ahead and get our node server up and running. The first thing we're going to use is express, but we need to install that node package. So we'll type npm i express, and that's gonna install the express package. Next, we'll initialize that. Now let's define our first route. We'll just say app.get slash request response. And inside here, we'll say res.send, welcome to the node server. Next, we have to define a port for it to listen on. So we'll come down here, we'll say app.listen. And inside here, we'll just say console.log, server is running on localhost 3000. As you can see, the port here is referencing this port 3000. So let's go ahead and try and run this thing. I'm gonna type npm start, let's see what happens. There you go, port's running on localhost 3000. We can actually go to localhost 3000. Now you can see it, welcome to the node server, just like we have typed in right there. Next, let's go ahead and define another route. So inside here, we'll say app.get. This route is gonna be API slash hello. Then inside here, we just respond with a JSON message that says hello from the API. And as you can see, this is just a JSON object. So let's go back to our front end over here. We'll go into our client folder, go into source, and we'll find our app.jsx. The first thing I'm gonna do is update our state. It's not one the count. I'm gonna say message, and we're gonna try and get that message from our backend server. And it's responding with text, or actually it's responding with an object. So we'll go ahead and change this to an object. Next, let's go ahead and define our function, call hello API. We're gonna be using a try catch block, and inside our first try, we're gonna log our response from our localhost 3000 API slash hello to this response. Now, if this response is anything but okay, let's go ahead and throw an error. Otherwise, we'll store this response in the data variable. And we'll go ahead and update our message state with that data. And let's console.log it, why not? Next, if we catch an error, let's go ahead and say console.error. Let's go ahead and save that. And that's our function right there. Next, we just need to go down here and let's use this button. Instead of incrementing the count, we'll go ahead and delete that. We'll say call hello API. And in here, we'll say on click, on click, we wanna run a function. It's the hello API function, call hello API function. Go ahead and give that a save. So hopefully this works. Let's go ahead and click call hello API. Let's go ahead and inspect and hopefully we see this in the console. And we have a cores error, which I'm kinda glad we did. You may not have this and that's okay, but if you do, let's go ahead and solve that real quick. We'll go ahead and stop, stop our server and we need to install cores. We'll say npm i cores. Now let's go back into our index.js. Let's go ahead and initialize that. And just above our route here, we'll go ahead and say, app.use course. Let's go ahead and give that a save. And we're just passing in our URL, which is localhost 5173. If you deploy this, this will be your actual domain here. Let's go ahead and restart our server. We'll give this a refresh. Let's try it again. You see our message in the console, hello from the API. But what if we want to store this response on the screen? Well, let's do that. Let's go back to our app.jsx and let's go ahead and put it, we'll just put it right above the button. So let's find our button and we'll just say inside this card here, what we'll do, we'll say message is present whoop, can't hit my keys, right? Then we'll say message dot message. I can't spell apparently. Let's go ahead and save. And we're saying message dot message because message is what we're pulling back here from our state. And that's actually what's in our JSON object as well. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just move that up one just so it looks a bit nicer on the screen. Now let's go ahead and refresh and call it again. <laughs> and there you have it. You can actually see it on the screen. Hello from the API. 
So this is a perfect example of how you can create a React application, then create a Node backend server and communicate within the two. I hope you liked the video. Smash the like button if you did. Leave me a comment and I'll see you on the next one.